Radio iodine scan will detect if there is any thyroid remnant or thyroid cancer tissue anywhere present other than the head and neck area where the surgery has been done, whether it is there in the lung or bone or any other part of the body. So, the next, if anything like that is detected with the radio iodine scan, we do a uh, further treatment called radio iodine therapy. The same radio iodine medicine which was used to uh, detect the, uh, the thyroid cancer remnant in the body can be given in a higher dose to uh, destroy this thyroid cancer remnants which is mic most of the time very small uh, microscopic remnants will be picked up if the surgery or if the disease is uh, surgery has been done completely or if the disease is uh, the comp in the pre only present in the neck and we have completely removed its surgery sometimes microscopic cancer elsewhere in the body can be detected so this can be addressed by radioiodine treatment so like i said radioiodine therapy or radioiodine th uh, treatment is we are giving the same medicine that we gave for the scan in a higher dose to destroy all the microscopic remnants of the thyroid cancer so this is not a very scary radiation like we do in the cancer of the mouth or other areas this is just usually a one time treatment and after this therapy is done usually your nuclear uh, physician or the uh, the physician will or the surgeon will call you after 4 to 5 months or 5 to 6 months and ask you to do a a repeat scan to see if the radio iodine treatment worked and sometimes you might have to do it repeat a second time to destroy all the remnants in the body but this is a very effective treatment in especially something called a well differentiated thyroid cancer which is a good kind of thyroid cancer which most of the time can be completely cured